Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Ram Dakota. Before we get into this video though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. So where the heck is the Ram Dakota? We've been waiting for this truck to come out since the last Dakota was discontinued back in 2011. And every single year since 2011, it seems like there's always a story that comes up of, hey, this is the year the Dakota is gonna come back and nothing happens. And on top of nothing happening, we just got a bunch of new midsize pickup trucks in the US market. The Nissan Frontier, the new one was released for the 22 model year. And then for 23 slash 24, we're getting a new Tacoma. We're getting a new Colorado and Canyon. We're also getting a new Ford Ranger. So like the whole midsize pickup truck market in the US is like all brand new right now. And so this would obviously be a great time for the Ram Dakota to come out and crickets at this point. But this actually perfectly explains why we haven't heard anything about the Ram Dakota because Ram likes to take an approach to building trucks that's a little bit different compared to the other automakers. And the approach is basically looking at what other automakers do in a particular segment and seeing how well that does. And then if it does well, then they kind of not exactly copy it, but you know, we'll take inspiration from that and then release it down the road, right? They try to refine things. I mean, look at what Ram did with the fifth generation Ram 1500. They studied what Ford and what Chevy were doing for years and they basically took all of that information and built out the new Ram 1500. And when they released it, it was a very nice, nice polished product that did amazing when it came to sales. And Ram has stated they're doing the same thing with their new Ram 1500 EV. They're seeing what Chevy and what Ford does with their EV trucks. And once they see what works and what doesn't work, then they release their truck. And actually that's what they've done. And now the Ram 1500 EV is going to come out with a bunch of range. It's basically going to beat the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Silverado EV on every single metric. And so if we bring this back to the Dakota, this is exactly what Ram is doing in the mid-size truck market. They're going to see what mid-size truck buyers like and don't like with all of these brands. And something to note is pretty much every single mid-size pickup truck outside of the Honda Ridgeline, if you consider that a pickup truck, and the Nissan Frontier, all have turbocharged engines now. And this is a huge change because we just went from a market of naturally aspirated engines for the most part outside of the Ford Ranger to now all turbocharged engines. And so I think that Ram is waiting to see what happens with the reliability of these turbocharged trucks over time. And then also what midsize pickup truck buyers think, like do midsize pickup truck buyers like turbocharged engines or are they going to, you know, basically all hoard in and buy Honda Ridgelines and Nissan Frontiers because those are the only ones that you can still get with a naturally aspirated engine. And so I think that this is why Ram is kind of pulled back on the Dakota and what they're waiting for. They're just kind of waiting to see, you know, how the market reacts to these trucks. And then once they see the reaction, then they're going to kind of deep dive into this Dakota and then finally officially release it. And I think that this could cause them to add or subtract powertrains from the Dakota, depending on what happens in the market. If the market is still really positive with naturally aspirated engines and more negative with turbocharged engines, then we might see a Dakota with the Pentastar 3.6 liter V6. But then if the market is the exact opposite where they are you know, okay with the turbocharged engines and they're like, yeah, naturally aspirated engine, we don't really care anymore. Then we might see you know, a four by e dakota right with the 2.0 turbo and the hybrid assist we might see a hurricane dakota right with the turbocharged inline six or we could see a dakota and some of you might not like this but with their new corporate two liter four cylinders turbocharged two liter four cylinder it's in you know stuff like the maserati gracale it's in the new jeep compass and you know it's in the jeep wrangler as well and so time will tell but i think this is why everything's gone quiet on the dakota is is ram is again just waiting seeing what happens and then they're going to release their product at a later date compared to everyone else but it's going to be a more polished product again look at what they've done with their other products so let me know what you guys think about this whole dakota situation do you think that ram should just release it now or do you think that it's a good idea with them waiting to release this to see what the other mid-size pickup truck you know automakers are basically doing and what the buyers of those pickup trucks think of the new product i'll see you